If you're looking for a fun and easy project to increase biodiversity in your garden or local green space, then this is the project for you, a bee mud commune. This muddy home is for solitary bees, or wild bees, and they act as amazing pollinators. From spring onwards, you might see them buzzing around in search of a suitable place to nest. And these nests can vary, with some species burrowing into materials like wood, whilst others occupying existing holes. The holes are where the females lay their eggs, creating cells which they deposit food for their larvae, and seal them in sight to grow. Some species will burrow into muddy banks, and this is what we're going to create. So what do you need? Well, essentially, you need to start with a container. We definitely recommend repurposing. For example, you could use a ceramic plant pot or planter, or even recycle a plastic box. We're gonna be using this old insect hotel. Now, this is a fun bit, making your mud. You'll need clay and sand. We're lucky enough to have some clay in our garden, but you can use lean pottery clay, which you can purchase from a pottery retailer. Fine sand like paving sand is best to use. You need to mix this into your clay to make the clay lean. Once dried, you should be able to scrape off pieces with your finger. Once you have the perfect mud mix, fill your container, making sure that the mud is compact and there are no air bubbles. Because we got this mixture from the wild, it was a little wet to begin with, but we just let it dry out. Use a thin stick to make a one to two centimeter deep hole into the mud. These will act as access tunnels for the bees, which will burrow them out to make the perfect home. You can place the mud hotel on an outdoor shelf or even on the ground. Try to find a sheltered spot near flowers. There are lots of other bee and insect hotels that you can make for your garden. Check out some of our previous videos and don't forget to like and subscribe to EcoSapien.